Hi folks, today I was at the supermarket in Germany to search for some rare and exotic fruit and I realized that they have like 30 or maybe 35 different varieties of tomatoes. Well, most of them looking quite tomato-like, but here I picked the most exotic looking one to do a video about it. That's such a great variety of tomatoes and it's just April. I wonder what it will be like in summer. Well, I think that this is supposed to be a blue tomato because the variety is called Mar Azul, literally blue sea in Spanish. The color is quite purplish. I think maybe on the video you might be seeing it a little bit darker than what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's definitely not blue, but rather purple. I guess it's hard to get rid of all the red color in a tomato. And if you have red color, you will not have blue, but some mixture of red and blue, which is purple. You might wonder why this tomato is already cut. Well, I started the video about an hour ago. Then my phone gave up on me. So now we'll do this video with the cut tomato. At least we don't have to do the whole video with a half eaten tomato, which would have happened if the phone had worked about one more minute. Well, from this side, it looks kind of purplish. When you look at it from the other side, it looks a lot like those Primora striped tomatoes I bought about two weeks ago. Also, the purplish part is a lot softer, while this is a lot harder, so I guess the purplish part is more ripe. In the box where I took it from, there were a few tomatoes which were even darker than this one. They were like really bluish purplish. And a lot of tomatoes which looked more or less like this. Because I didn't want to buy too many tomatoes, the price was like phew, 7 or 8 euro per kilo. I bought one with a not completely ripe underside and quite a ripe upper side. So yeah, the softness is also quite a good indicator that this part is a lot more ripe than this hard part. And then I already cut it and you see the phone gave up like one millisecond before I finished cutting it. What does it look like inside? Uh -huh. Well, not so much unlike a normal tomato. Usually the tomatoes have like three carpels, the wild tomatoes, but um, already the pre-Columbian Indians have bred a lot of like more complicated tomatoes with a lot more carpels, just because they wanted this here, the real tomato flesh, not so much juicy goo surrounding the seeds, but some more substance. Well, on the inside it looks quite tomato-like, maybe a little bit, yeah, maybe this outer part is a little bit darker than average tomato, but in the middle you basically don't see any trace of this purplish color, it's just pink like a normal tomato. Now let's try and see what it tastes like, let's first taste this part which is not that ripe. Mm hmm well, tastes like a tomato, I mean it's April, I guess since it comes from Spain, it comes from the province of Almeria, that's like the biggest desert in the EU, and because it's a desert with heat and sun, even throughout the winter, most of our winter vegetables come from there still, they come from greenhouses, they ripen very quickly and you cannot expect too much taste there, but I mean, it doesn't taste as good as some tomatoes I ate during the last weeks. Well, those were usually cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes are usually the only tomatoes tasting good in Germany. 
It tastes like a sour tomato, pretty sour. Now let's try the most ripe part. I think it's this side here. Similar but less sour, but I cannot detect any sweetness. Hmm. Yeah. Less sourness, but not much sweetness. The tomato has quite some substance to it, yeah. Especially towards the middle. And quite a lot of those really tough fibers here inside the tomato. Well, I mean, it's April. It's possible that they will taste better in July. But for now, I would say those Marasul tomatoes <laughs> are being bought more for the looks than for the taste. Well, maybe I'll buy another one around July and August and see if it tastes better. Okay, folks, this was the Marasul tomato from Spain. Stay tuned for more fruit videos from the German shops and supermarkets. Still don't know if I shall make like 30 or 35 tomato videos, probably not. Well, anyway, and definitely don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.